In problem number 11 of section 1.3, we uh, calculate the integral of uh, the rational function uh, written on the board. Uh, and the first step is to look at the denominator and see if we can factor the, um, factor the quadratic in the denominator uh, as a product of two, uh, two linear terms. Uh, it's, after just looking at it for a minute, you can kind of see that well, it doesn't really have any integer um, in integer roots, so there's no easy way just to factor just by looking at it. So in order to tell whether it uh, actually does factor over the real numbers or not, is to complete the square. So if we uh, rewrite the integral in the form 7m squared plus 12m plus 8 over m plus 3, and now this term we want to complete the square, so we're going to write m plus uh, now one half of the second term. So, uh, or one half of the coefficient of the second term, I should say, squared. And um, hang on. So we want to, kind of skipping a step here, uh, we want to write m squared um, plus m, uh, and we want to write one half of uh, the coefficient of the m term uh, squared. So uh, one half squared is plus one quarter. And we want to subtract that same amount. And finally add, uh, add the constant coefficient. And we see that we can rewrite this uh, entire term now as, uh, well, the first part, the first three terms uh, are a perfect, squ uh, perfect square. So have m plus 1 half squared. And the second term is 1 minus 1 quarter is just 3 quarters. Uh, excuse me, 1 minus 1 quarters plus 3 quarters. So now that we've written that part of the denominator in a different form, we can see that this actually doesn't have any real roots because, well, the first term is a square. And so it's definitely positive. And the second term is also positive. So there's no way, no matter what value of m that we substitute, this will never actually be 0. So this is actually an irreducible quadratic over the real numbers. Uh, so if we follow the strategy outlined uh, in the preceding chapter, uh, we know that this is going to equal um, a over m plus 3 plus uh, b times uh, x plus 1 half, uh, where the, uh, excuse me, it should be m plus 1 half. The m plus 1 half just comes from this term, and plus c uh, over uh, m plus 1 half squared plus 3 quarters. Now, of course, where a, b, and c are the coefficients to be determined. Um, we can take all this information and uh, if we multiply both sides by the original denominator, then on the left hand side here we have, um, it's like kind of being a little sloppy here technically, which this is still equal to the integral. Uh, but if we just drop the integral and just look at the um, function on the inside, multiply both sides by uh, this original denominator. You see that 7m squared plus 12m plus 8 is equal to, now if we multiply uh, by a, we'll have a times 
m plus or m a times m squared plus m plus one and plus m plus three times uh, the second numerator after we um, did the decomposition. This will be I'm gonna write this down below. This will be m plus 3 times uh, b times m plus 1 half uh, plus c. Now, probably the easiest um, way to go start, uh, start this is to, well, if we just let m equal negative uh, 3. So if m equals minus 3, then well, on the left-hand side, uh, 7 times 9 plus 12 times minus 3 plus 8. And on the right side, we have a um, we have 9 minus 3 plus 1. And since m is equal to minus 3, the entire second term goes to 0. So we can now write 63 uh, minus 36 plus 8 is equal to we have 9 minus 3 is 6 plus 1 or 7a. And now 63 minus 36 is 27 plus 8 is 35. So we have 7a is equal to 35, uh, which means that a is equal to 5. Uh, now that A is equal to 5, um, we can go ahead and solve for B and C. Uh, so if we multiply on the right-hand side and then collect uh, like terms. Uh, on the right hand side we'll have um, let's see am squared plus am plus 1 uh, plus we'll have b times uh, m squared plus 1 half m plus 3m or uh, 7 over 2 times m plus 3 over 2. And finally, plus c times m plus 3. So all this implies that if we collect our like terms, the uh, coefficient of the m squared term on the right-hand side is a plus b, and on the left-hand side is 7. This says that 7 is equal to a plus b. And, uh, well, a is equal to 5, so this means that b must be equal to, equal to 2. And, and if we look at the uh, constant terms, on the left-hand side, we have 8. And on the right-hand side, we have a times 1 and b times 3 over 2. And uh, plus 3c. Well, we know what a and b are. So we know that 8 is equal to 5 plus uh, 3 times 2 divided by 2 is 3 plus 3c. And now we have 3c is equal to um, 8 minus 5 minus 3, or 0. So c is just equal to 0, which will make our next computation a lot easier. 
And also note that I chose to um, solve for the value of c by looking at the constant terms. Um, you could also look at uh, the coefficients of the linear terms. So you could say 12 is equal to a m plus uh, 7b over 2m plus cm and substitute in the proper values for a and b, solve for c, and you would also get c equals 0. So now finally we can substitute these values uh, back into our um, our partial fraction decomposition. And we get 5 over m plus 3 plus 2 times m plus 1 half plus 0 now over m plus 1 half squared plus 3 quarters uh, dm. Now, the first term is E is E. That's just 5 times the natural log of the absolute value of m plus 3. The second term is a little bit trickier, but if we make the substitution um, u equals uh, m plus 1 half squared plus 3 quarters, in other words, the entire denominator, and then du will equal 2 times m plus 1 half uh, dm. And we can rewrite this as, well, if we just compute the first integral, this is 5 times natural log of m plus 3 plus um, We'll have the integral of, uh, we have 2m plus 1 half dm in the numerator, so that's just equal to du. And in the denominator, we just have u. So the integral of the second term is just equal to the natural log of u uh, plus a constant. And finally, we can write our final answer as 5 times the natural log of m plus 3 uh, plus uh, the natural log of uh, here. Well, technically, it's absolute value, but since um, the first term of u is squared, the second term is positive, we can actually just drop those and write uh, just natural log of m plus 1 half squared uh, plus 3 quarters uh, plus c.